that's cool. And Curse has beaten me both times Curse. in the <laughs> finals of both of the tournaments. <laughs> oh, he was the She-Hulk player at the tournament? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh right. man, well, nice to meet you, Curtis. Good job, by the way, man. Any any time that the big uh, the big idiot gets beat, I I I, I applaud. Him. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I I just I'm cooled off, Malika, at this point. But like, it's still it still burns me. That's what I like to see as well. <laughs> yeah. Even when I'm running Malika. <laughs> yeah, I, I love to see it too, man. I really do, man. It just makes me happy. Um, I yeah. Thought- yeah. I thought the big idiot was Vince, not Malika. No, but, oh, <laughs> oh, man, the cur- the let's trash see if song. The big idiot can beat you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, you, you guys can go ahead choose a map. I'm gonna buy out here. You guys can go ahead and do whatever. And um, yes, sir. Yeah, just play your match, man. I'll be in the background commentating and uh, just have some fun, man. And uh, good luck to both of you. Appreciate <laughs> it. Thanks. I, I just want. What's up? Um, I think you're uh, red right now, so you'll just have to. Oh, I've right changed. Up. Yeah, so let me yes, change color. I gotta be the gray. I think right spectators. Yeah, and then there you go, Vince. All right, cool. All right, man. I'll bow out, man. You guys, good luck. Have some, have some fun. I appreciate yeah, thanks, it. Man. Not a problem. All right, so that's good to know, man. These guys have been. These guys have a. You know, they've played each other twice right now. I mean, the trash talking is there. Um, Curtis is two and zero oh against Vince. Let's see if he can get a win on Curtis tonight. Um, I don't know what Vince is going to be playing. Um, I'll turn on the mod here. Did you guys appreciate the banter back and forth between, uh, between Vince and Curtis there? Let me know. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get out of this too, man. A little bit of entertainment, man. A little bit of trash, a little bit of humor, a little bit of trash talking, right? A little bit of dice rolling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to do it all here. Um, but yeah, man, Matt Alex, uh, Big Blake, man. I mean, Big Blake, you're already talking about how your Sunday's going. Man, Matt Alex, how's your Sunday treating you, brother? Do you play fantasy football, and how's your fantasy football going for you? If not, that's okay. How's your Sunday going? Ooh, so check this out. So we got Vince. He's going to be... Yeah, this is the Hydra list he was playing last week, which I find interesting. Um, He's got Venom, uh, Bucky. Uh, He does have the Howling Commandos. What he likes to do here, and this is really interesting, so... With uh, Red Skull, he plays advanced R&D, and what he does is he... Oh, it looks like priority was rolled, I guess. No, the map was just chosen. We haven't done that yet. So, here's the deal. So, it's like he does... He gains the, he gains the two power goals, the three advanced R&Ds, out to Bucky and out to the Howling Commandos. What that then enables is uh, Bucky to do Hydra Tactics for two, so he can reposition himself and just start shooting. He has a range five gun. He shoots really far. And it also does that for the Howling Commandos as well. So the Howling Commandos, what's interesting about them is they have the Royal Decree similar to Medusa, which they can reposition themselves within a character or another character within one or whatever the hell. Um, so that's really cool. Um, I really like that. It's really unique. And let's go over to let's go over here to Curtis. I've not seen Curtis play. It looks like we have some A Force going on here. She Hulk, Storm, Miss Marvel. Ah, I like it. Little uniqueness here. Basically an A-Force list here with Hulk, right? I mean, Hulk is Hulk is awesome. Fun to play. Probably one of the best models in the game, if not the best model in the game at this point in time. That's good, man. I'm glad to hear you're doing all right, Matt. That's good, man. If you ever want to... Uh, so, by the way, uh, anybody that wants to come on and commentate... That's the other thing. I didn't, I'm didn't. i not pushing that enough. If anybody wants to come on and commentate during the fight nights, feel free. Um, Big Blake, Matt, Alex, um, on next week or whoever, if you want to just jump on and just... Do some commentary with me, man, and uh, and have a good time with me. Uh, feel free to let me know. I mean, just I don't care who comes on, man, as long as we're just having uh, having some fun commentating the match. And um, you know, the purpose of this is to not just have gr- not just have random matches throughout the week. It's just uh, it's also to um, get some like high quality games and 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 uh, talk about it and, and dissect it, and that way. You know, for someone who's learning the game or wants to get into this game, they can sit back and watch it and learn from this too, as well. So it's it's it, it, it's it's everything, right? All right, so we got the priority roll happening. What's up? Who's got prior, baby? Uh, uh, Vince with the priority. I think he won priority on me last week. No, he didn't. I don't think. I think I won. I think I won prior. Yeah, I did. I did win prior. So Vince was priority. I think he's won priority. Let's see what he's gonna go with here. Let's take a look at his secures. Ooh, I think Vince 
Yeah, Vince chose extracts. That's what I was going to think. Okay, so Struggle for the Cube and Superpower Scoundrels. Ooh, okay. Um, this is interesting. I think... So, Curtis is going to choose Board Edge. And I, I believe Curtis is going to choose 20. Um, the 20 probably gives him She-Hulk and Hulk. Hulk is really, really good on Struggle for the Cube. Hulk can go and pick up multiple cubes and, and, and make it as safe as possible. Getting rid of 20 hitboxes is not easy to do, guys. It's really, really difficult. So when Hulk gets a whole bunch of cubes, he's really hard to take down. She-Hulk as well. She-Hulk has 20 boxes as well. So you're talking maybe 40 hitboxes that you have to take down. It's a lot of beef. <laughs> it's a lot of beef. So um, this is going to be really interesting. Um and I'm pretty sure he's going to go A-Force. I mean, there's nothing. There's no other leadership here. This is A-Force. <laughs> who you guys got in the chat, man? I mean, whoever's here, who you got in the chat? Um, you guys think Vince Chan is going to take it with uh, A-Force? Or do you guys think um, Do you guys think Curtis is going to take it with A-Force? Who you guys got? I'm sorry, Vince with uh, Hydra and uh, Curtis with A-Force. Let me know in the chat. Who you got? So Matt, I saw that uh, you're having another event in December over in uh, over in the Northeast, uh, another LVO qualifier, I believe, man. That's awesome to see, man. Um, I hope it all goes well. I hope that event goes well for you. Um, you know, um, that that might be. See, I was talking earlier with uh, with Blake, and I think next year when we travel in the tournaments, I think if I do two tournaments next year, I might want to try to get out to the Northeast, and I do want to try to get out to Texas. Um, so we'll see what happens with all that. Um, you know, of course you need the money, you need the time off, you need all kinds of things to go your way. Right. So let's see what happens. Right. But we'd definitely like to hit up one of your events over the Northeast, man, for sure. And I'm back with brotherhood, by the way. I don't know if you've heard the news. Uh, your boy is back playing brotherhood again. I, my hiatus not playing that team is over. I am back at full force. Um, <laughs> And, uh, you know, I'm done experimenting with other teams right now, man. At Brotherhood, they're, they they just work for me, man. They speak to me. Uh, they're my team. Um, so, yeah. Also, I don't remember Vince Chan took Eyes on the Prize with Red Skull. Eyes on the Prize with Red Skull is really good, by the way. Um, Red Skull can honestly pick up any – he can pick up both back cubes if he wants to. He can pick up the front one rather easily, pick up this one here, or go and pick up the middle one rather safely, um, and just he can hold on to the cubes. Honestly, I don't think you want to put that many cubes on Red Skull because he just becomes a target, and he's really easy to kill. He, granted, I know that Red Skull has a lot of dice, but he has no modifications, no minus one damage, nothing like that. He's straight dice, so he can get taken off the table really quickly. Um Absolutely, yeah, man. Oh, no, that's awesome. That's awesome to see, man. It's awesome to hear. New convention. They're going to start. That's awesome. That's good to hear, man. And uh, I think the Professional Casual Network is going to be streaming it. That's awesome. That's really cool. I'm hoping with next year, too, like, because I do want to get my commentary game going. So, like, I'm hoping next year, maybe, you know, some people just ask, ask me if they want me to commentate on some games and all that stuff. That'd be really nice. Um, but we'll see. Um, but, yeah, you got to play what you love, man. Like, I, I'm with you, man. I, I, I shouldn't have abandoned them. That's my fault. I abandoned them, and then I deserved the pain I got, right? I shouldn't have abandoned my love, man. I shouldn't have done that. Don't ever do that. You stick with what you love, and then you just play it. <laughs> so right now we're in roster selection. and Oh, Curtis is ready to go. Let's take a look. Let's see if I called it. Did he go double Hulk? He did not. He spread out a little bit. I actually like his selection here. Uh, Angela can go, and she's really, really mobile. She can go around and pick up stuff. She also has an online turn. She has a turn one terrain throw with size four or less, which is really strong. Uh, Okoye is the surprising pick here, but with the A-Force leadership, she can go and get power and hand out bodyguard. She can just bodyguard um, effectively because of the power that's being handed out. Medusa is always awesome. I think Medusa is a slept-on four-threat character, honestly. I, she's been nerfed, right? Nerfed. But she's been nerfed in a way that I still think she's effective. Um, I still had a turn one time with uh, with Medusa where I attacked Kingpin, pulled off the Flurry, got my pushes, and then still threw him. And then he was basically halfway across the table. Like, it was insane what I did to Kingpin that game. 
All right, so let's take a look at Vince Chan. Oh, he's going the Hulkster. I knew one Hulk was coming out. And he's got the 24-inch pythons out, and he's ready to go. He's ready to Hulk up, brother. And uh, he's here to do the cube play, which is really cool. He does have eyes on the prize, so that I've talked about this. Um, he can put that on Red Skull. Red Skull can literally just move over here, pick that up. I believe with – I think it's two moves. I don't, I don't know if it's one. He is on a big base. I think one move gets there, but I could be wrong. I think it's two. Um, still though, he can go and get this cube safely. He can get this cube. He can pick up the middle if he wants to, um, whatever, whatever the, the world is his oyster, right? So we're not seeing the advanced R and D play. I mean, we're seeing sleeper agent. This is a card that I've been talking about with Hydra. This card is really good. This card is meant to be on characters that are really good at daisy or KOing characters. The fact that they can't activate reactives and the fact that they can't, um, yeah, any, you can't play any reactive team tactics cards. It's huge. What does that mean? So if Hulk gets this card, right? Hulk can turn one, throw a size four building at somebody, and they cannot brace for impact it at all. Hulk can just throw things at people, and they cannot brace it. It basically turns that off, right? It's insane. And uh, just any reactive superpowers, he's just nutty with this card. Um, I've been talking about this card. I think this might end up being a staple for Hydra. Um, because that effect is ridiculous. I mean, we all see Mystique, how she is as a terror. Uh, fallback is insane. Eyes on a price. We talked about this. Sacrifice is really good. And then Heroes for Hire because you got Luke Cage. Luke Cage is just a stud. He blocks everything. He just does everything well. <laughs> so let's take a look at Curtis's cards here. Fallback, Stalwart Determination. I haven't seen this card play in a long, long time. Special Delivery with She-Hulk to drop her off. And then Sacrifice and Brace for Impact. So... I don't know how many games Curtis has gotten into Hydra. I don't know if he knows anything about the Sleeper Agent. But I hope he's aware that Hulk can be a menace with that card. Uh, there is a caveat, though. If this card... Let's say, for example, you do an attack with Sleeper Agent and you don't daze or KO the character, you lose the effect. So you have to make sure you have this on a character that's reliably killing and, and doing all that stuff, right? So... And dice can be dice sometimes, man. Hulk can whiff on a lot of stuff, and it's just like a real bad day. So, all right. So, it looks like we got Baron Zemo center deployed. We have Red Skull here. So, Red Skull deployed in the middle. Can, in a world, move once, pick this up within two, pick this up within two, and get it rather safely. I assume Hulk is probably just going to be here in the middle. Or maybe on the outside. Maybe he's waiting for where She-Hulk goes. Well... Let's see, three to the... Oh, that's why I'm confused, because there's I see five characters. I forget the Hydra Troopers are here. So, All right, here we go. So we got Medusa coming up. God, I remember when she was a terror. Matt, Matt, you remember. Remember when uh, Medusa was just a menace as a fourth threat? Dude, those days were just brutal. Ooh, Medusa, with all the repositioning, the flurry, and all that nonsense, man. Oh, my God. I will never forget those days. I've been scarred by that character so much. Ugh. And Hulk's going outside. Okay, so I either thought middle or outside. He's going outside. So I don't think Vince is going to go for the middle middle extract here with Hulk. I think the play is going to be maybe put Red Skull up there to get it. Yeah, see, he's already measuring it out. I did this last week. I showed him some weird, I showed him some unique things with Red Skull with eyes on the prize, and he saw how many extracts I picked up with it. And I think he picked up on that, and that's really, really good. But if he's going Red Skull, he needs to go with the Troopers first. He has to go with the Troopers first. I think Curtis is reminding him of that, so power phase. I'm going to send a reminder. Oh no, Vince, 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 Vince. Oh no, 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 no. Listen to me. Okay. <laughs> I think he's measuring out stuff. Okay, okay. We don't have a judge. I'm the judge basically right now. And I'm not the greatest judge, so. Push after damage, so two pushes after the flurry. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that? Dude, those were not fun days, dude. <laughs> dude, and those turns would take forever because they didn't have to take the push first. They could just wait. 
to everything to finish and then push. Like, oh, it's just so annoying. All right, so here we go. We're going Baron Strucker to pick up the outside here. So I think he's letting the middle go here. He's probably going to let Angela pick this middle up and walk away. So Strucker's going to come up and get it. Uh, like I said, Red Skull can grab the back one. So if the middle one gets grabbed here, Red Skull can go ahead and go and grab this one, or he can grab the other one. So, yeah, here, it, standard play. I mean, this is a classic here. I mean, this was like one of the strongest plays in MCP a year ago, a year and a half ago, right? This is, such a, this is just such a really strong play. So Angela's going to go ahead and pick that up. And I think Angela can go ahead and move back and grab this one. If I were Angela, I'd probably grab this one over here. This one in the back. I wouldn't stay there. I wouldn't stay there at all. That's my opinion. Let's see. There's any... okay. Nothing going on. Ooh, what's he thinking here? I just go backwards, honestly. I just go backwards. He's gonna go and pick up that cube over there. I say go to the probably the max distance of long here. There's not much, there's not much he can do to go after Angela here. So it's a safe play. Um, is he picking up the other cube? Is he going to pick up the other cube here? Yep. Pick up the other cube. Very good play. Very good play. You want the advantage with cubes, right? Like you want to be, you want to have the three to two lead. Sometimes, sometimes, if your opponent doesn't know what's going on, you get a four to one lead. Um, but so right now, yeah. See, this is where I would have went with Red Skull, picked up the middle one there to stop that play from happening, because then Angela would have to commit to the back. To maybe go for the other one, right? But I don't think he makes that play with Angela. So, but that's okay. Uh, Vince does what he what Vince can't do now is he can't go to the other side here and grab that one because She Hulk is there and She Hulk is just going to be a menace, right? Um, what's not good here is that right now. Okay, here comes Zemo. Zemo can get back there as well and get within one. Ooh, the aggressive play here. Ooh, and She-Hulk is right there. Really aggressive play here from Vince. If he does survive these attacks, by the way, that does give Vince the lead with extracts, right? So this is a risk he's willing to take here. Just going to go and pick up that extract and stay on the point. Um, he, he does have cover because of scoundrels. So that is going to help. Um, She-Hulk does need to get within one to stop the cover. Um, so what I mean within one, I mean within one of the scoundrel here. Um, if she does not get within one of the scoundrel... Um, Zemo will have cover. So this is it's this one's really weird um, with the cover. Um, so it's not your normal, hey, if I get within two, you're denied cover. No, it's not how that goes. Um, what happens here is as long as you're contesting, the opponent does not get cover. So this might be a dead Zemo. Granted, this is a one action. So this is the first action to move a She-Hulk. Um, she doesn't have the action economy that Hulk has, which is Gamma Leap. Um, and attack somebody or anything like that. She has to move, strike, etc. She has range two and a range three attack. The range two attack is a builder, uh, but she starts off with two power, um, and her throw is a two power. Is it a three power cost throw? I believe. Let me see. If I remember correctly. Yeah. So she should be able to attack, do some damage, and throw something at Zemo. And that this might be a dead. Yeah. I, th this is a dead Zemo. And this is what I was talking about. So now Zemo's dead, right? That's the risk you take going that far up with Zemo. I probably wouldn't have done that. Um, but then again, I, did, I was mentioning maybe, hey, getting within two here or something like that with Red Skull. 
Uh, but Red Skull would have been a little bit safer to grab that because of how far he would have had. Because it's within range two with eyes on the prize, right? So right now, Curtis has the extract lead. He does have two ambush tokens. So that right now, he's scoring five points right now, round one. And he has a day Zemo. Um, Vince will have priority. So he will start next turn and be able to do his, his thing here. So I wonder what his plan is. Um... Maybe you should have gone with Hulk as well. Hulk is an option. Oh no, don't do that. Nope. So here we go. We got the Hydra Troopers. Yeah, just put the I just put the Hydra Troopers there in the middle. Gets cover. Those Hydra Troopers are and honestly, like with the three health, they survive. Like it's insane, like how often they survive. It's it's it's, it's rather nutty, um, so it's really interesting. All right, so it looks like he's measuring range four. Maybe thinking of pot shotting Angela here with the Hydra Troopers. Move on to this point over here and maybe just shoot Angela. Just do some chip damage, maybe. I think he's abandoned that at this point. I think the Hydra Troopers. The other thing is, too, I think the Hydra Troopers were positioned way too far out. You need to get a little closer. Because I don't think he can get. Oh, well, yeah, he can. It'd be all right. Yeah, he's got the big base. He can get around there, fit just fine on the kitty corner there. And get there and get that middle ambush token. There you go. Okay, so pressure that middle point. Try to keep up with the scoring as best you can right now. Best case scenario, what he wants here. Possibly, maybe tie. He wants it to. He wants the game to either be five to four or tied up five to five. Um, what I mean by five to five is if. Let's say, for example, he wins this middle point here and has two extracts. That's five points going to Vince. And that's five points going to A-Force, which is a 5-5 five, five tie game. So that's that that's best case scenario right now. Um, worst, I mean, not worst, but like second best is five to four. Anything beneath that, um, you know, you, you really don't want that. So you really don't want to fall too, too behind. Um against A-Force, or any other team, honestly. So yeah, Red Skull's just probably just going to move up here, move again, score the middle point, hold the cover. I mean, this is perfect. This middle thing is perfect here. This is a great backstop. You can't really be pushed or thrown backwards in any kind of direction in this area. So this is pretty cool. So that backstop is going to stop any pushes or or stop any like kind of like you know throw attack that do throws or whatever i would have power oh he wants to be within three of angela and then probably possibly daze her and red skull can do that with activating with having blanks of successes on that blitz attack oh my god it's insane so vince is looking pretty good right now right now he's winning the middle so at this point in time he has three points he's probably he's most likely going to cap this I think the next move here is maybe... See, here's the problem, though. You kind of want Hulk in the mix, right? And you also want Luke Cage in the mix because of Heroes for Hire. So having one of them on this back point here, ugh, I maybe would have preferred... Now that I think about it, maybe I would have preferred maybe Luke Cage or something like that coming to the middle instead of the Hydra Troopers. Maybe I throw the Hydra Troopers back here. But what I think Vince is thinking here is like I can get two cubes here off of... Off of just dazing Angela, right? I mean, She Hulk is all the way over here. He's gonna have priority, and he's thinking uh, if I can daze here, get two points, I'm back in this game, and I have the lead now, right? So, really good stuff here. So here comes a Koye. Koye unfortunately cannot gain a power from her spear throw anymore. That was the nerf she took, which I would, I believe she shouldn't have taken that nerf. But we're in that world. Um, she she used to have a guarant damn near guaranteed bodyguard turn one, um, which is really strong. And there wasn't a lot of two threats back in the day, so I wish she would. I wish she could still gain power off of something off of that spear throw. But this is the world we're living in.
So I think we're going to see a spear throw into either Red Skull. We'll check the dice here in a second. It's two, so it's going to be the troopers. Troopers block one and have cover, so they're going to block two here, taking no damage. Those Hydra Troopers, I'm telling you, man, they with that three health? Dude, that three health is insane. <laughs> they survive more often than not. All right, so now you're in an interesting situation here. Do you leave Luke Cage? To, yeah, I think he's... Do you put Luke Cage on the back scoundrel there and hold that point? Because nobody can really contest it. Oh, it looks like he's fully committed to putting Cage in the middle here. Okay. Get the bodyguard, get heroes for hire. So what I'm thinking here is he's going to leave Hulk back, wait for him later in the game to do his thing, and uh, maybe go up against She-Hulk there and do all the damage. Remember Hulk, remember Hulk does have Sleeper Agent on him, so um, he can lose it if he doesn't attack into someone and they don't daze or KO. So that is an option. Um, so yeah, get Luke. He's basically going to guarantee the middle here. And Luke Cage is very, very tanky. And he's hard to deal with. Um, and I don't think Medusa has a target here. Maybe the Hydra Troopers, it looks like. Maybe attack Red Skull. There looks like Red Skull is a little more forward. I would probably target Red Skull. Get into an angle where I can move and I can push. Because Oh, no. You, as a matter of fact, you cannot put. I think he's in energy form. No, he, uh, she can push, actually. Because the energy form... Um, you can't push Red Skull with superpowers or mystic attacks. Yes, correct. So, a physical attack can put... Oh, it looks like he's going the other direction here. Ooh, so, there's going to be two moves here. To get within three... To stay out of three of Red Skull, it looks like. Is that the deal? Yeah, okay. Stay out of three within Red Skull, which is really good. Because then what, what can happen here is Medusa can do her Royal Decree nonsense. So, maybe, hmm. That's interesting. I'm trying to think what to do here. Maybe he's thinking, hmm. Well, stay out of three Red Skull because she doesn't want Medusa to die, right? I'm trying to see what the play is here with Medusa and She-Hulk. Trying to think of trying to think it through what he's thinking. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So Hulk is going to pick this up and basically move up a little bit more, like just forward, just a little bit. Uh, Hulk next turn is going to have a ton of power, by the way, because of the leadership. You got to remember the leadership goes off for for Hydra. So if you're contesting or holding an objective, to holding an objective token. You gain extra power during the power phase, okay? Not just that. You, you get your additional power from the power phase. Also, an additional power from the cube. So, next turn, Hulk is going to gain... Wow. Another... What? Five power? So, that's going to put Hulk to seven next turn. So, three normally. Leadership and cube. So that's gonna be five power. It's gonna be seven power for Hulk going into next turn. So I'm, it looks like he's measuring to see if he can be within one of the point here and throw a size four building at Medusa, which isn't a bad thing because again, she cannot brace because Hulk has sleeper agent, right? Like I rem like I reminded you. So sleeper agent, you can't do reactives at all. So that card is really insane. It just shows how powerful Mystique's, uh, Mystique's superpower is, like with not being able to react or anything like that. It was funny because when we did our tier list of, of three threats, a lot of people were surprised that we had Mystique at A tier. Whoa, he didn't pick up the cube. Wait, I'm, oh, no, he's going to pick up the cube here in a second. He's trying to get a little further. That's still not going to touch. Oh, uh, that's risky. The, the hair. It's the hair. Maybe he should have just went straight on. He should have just went straight ahead. I don't know why he cut the angle here. He could have just went straight. Maybe he couldn't fit over the building. But I think if he gets on top of the building, it's medium. I mean, I, I kind of would have waited ne till next turn to do this. Um, 
and stayed on the point here and capped it. Because right now, let's see, two cubes, two scoundrels, so four. So still the same situation, five to four. If Black Cat had a better angle here, Black Cat could have maybe moved and gotten onto this ambush token and scored it. Because with two, with two long moves, she can make it. So luckily, I don't think Black Cat is near there at all. Maybe she is. Maybe she can maybe move out to... Let's look at the angle here. Move straight ahead and then cut around the corner and sit on that ambush. It's a possibility. Maybe, maybe let's see if Curtis is thinking that. I think I think Curtis might get there with the long move and it turning that way, honestly. Matt Alex, let me know. Am I wrong there? <laughs> I, I thought I thought Cat has to be straight on, but maybe not. It looks like he's taking a different route. But I think the long move here, getting up to about right here maybe, and then long move turn, maybe gets him there. I'm not sure. All right, so there's Black Cat moving. Yeah, keep her safe anyway. You don't want her to die. So get on the ambush so it can take your time. I mean, the steel, is on, the steel will be online soon. You can steal Strooker's uh, token and just play that game, right? So it's going to be five to four in favor of Curtis. And Vince does have priority. He is, he has a lot of options. Um, he could start with Red Skull here and go for the days on Angela. I think that's what I would do personally starting next turn. You can just do a blitz strike and just go nuts. He can pop blitz strike two times next turn and then possibly days Angela. So there's going to be th possibly four attacks going into her. And she's going to be taking two damage here from the cubes. So that's going to leave her at four left. So doing four damage to Angela with straight dice is not the end of the world. It's not hard to do, especially with Matt Alex. Especially with not Matt Alex. <laughs> especially with uh, Hydra uh, adding blanks to successes for the attack, right? And then we're going to do the leadership here. There's a, there's a lot going on here. Like we're going to do leadership and all this other crazy stuff right now. Uh, look at all this power the team has already. This leadership is so good. The, the, the Red Skull's leadership is amazing. I don't know why anybody... Like, I know people want to experiment with Shooker's leadership. I don't know why would anybody would want to play that leadership. Like, when you have Red Skulls and it's just... The, the amount of power that's dished out to you gotta play that leadership right like there's no way you you play another one you, you play strickers there's just no way Ooh, in the meantime i need to see if my food got here i'll be right back It's not here yet. All right. doesn't matter. All right. So right now we're doing some measurements now. It looks like he's committed with Hulk here, I think. I would I would just start with Red Skull, I think. Put the pressure on. That's just me. But I am. I take chances sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. I need to see what's going on here. I know I ordered something. So it's completed. Okay, so what is here? All right. All right, so it looks like... So it looks like he's going with Baron Zemo, I believe. If I see correctly. Yep, so it's Baron Zemo. I believe this is going to be a Seal Rush and a Master Swordsman. And it's probably going to be going into She-Hulk because, well, she has Bodyguard, so it doesn't matter. So right now we got three coming through. Um, he's got a Zemo reroll. 
So this is probably Master Swordsman first. And then Zemo. Yep. So right now, this is a lot of damage coming in. This is six. Only blocking one. So taking five damage on here to Sheet Hulk. And I believe the Wild Hand's out of bleed as well. So that's gonna be some chip damage coming into Sheet Hulk right there. Oh my goodness. And that's going to be a medium move away as well. You want to get Baron Zemo out of there. I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to lose Baron Zemo right here either. That's enough damage for me. I just, I, I'll just book it from here and just blah. Food was here, it was just on my chair. All right, so Baron Zemo books it, it looks like towards Hulk, and she's going to aggressive towards Mr. Zemo and get closer and harass a little bit. I'm I think I stay here because that puts me closer. You know what? Maybe, yeah, you know what? She, I think Curtis wants to be close to Hulk anyway. So here comes the aggressive, right? You don't have to take the full distance because this is an advance. And stays out of two a Hulk. I think that's the this. No, it must be within two a Hulk. Okay, cool. There we go. So now, what does Zemo do? I think Zemo. Hmm. He just books it backwards. It moves long. I don't know why he's doing medium. And he's going to hand a power out to Black Cat. So Black Cat now has three powers. So Black Cat has to steal online, by the way. So this is going to be another steel rush, probably into She-Hulk here. And just two, just three hits coming in with a crit coming in and a reroll. Ooh, four hits. Vince's dice continue to stay on fire. That's going to be five hits. Blocking one again. That's another four. That's She-Hulk. Half health left. Oh, and there's a raging Hulk right in front of her right now. Dude, She-Hulk is... This is scary. She-Hulk is one terrain throw away and a couple of attacks into her from Daisy. And that's a, that's a gone lead. That, that leadership's gone. So... And I don't think uh, Curtis played patch up, so there's no way she has right now. Curtis has no way to heal She Hulk right now. See, I think I would have just stayed back. Honestly, I would have just stayed back and uh, just chilled a little bit. But now you're in the thick of it, so now you gotta really think about things. I don't know if you can let She Hulk go here. Like you can't like you you can't go with anybody else. You have to go with She Hulk here. Otherwise, Hulk just murders her. Right. So I think what needs to happen here is I think I would do the throw. I would I would th chuck Hulk here, chuck a medium. Oh, it looks like he's looking at the terrain feature and getting rid of it, which is not a bad idea either. You don't want Hulk to throw a terrain feature, but Hulk's going to have a size three. But honestly, I would take Hulk maybe throwing a size three over a size four, but let's see. He's got some decisions to make here. Um. Let's see, Shield can stagger him, correct? So, slow stun, which I believe Hulk is immune to stun. So, it's not going to happen. So, you can put a slow on Hulk here and possibly... So, I would put the slow on Hulk here and then maybe do a spender to stagger him. And then I would throw him backwards. Um, throw him backwards. There's a nice little spot here. Like just straight ahead and shouldn't hit anything and put Hulk somewhere out to here. Granted, Hulk can gamble leap, whatever, but I think that's what you want at this point. You want Hulk to gamble leap, whatever. As long as he's staggered, he's gonna lose an action. So that's good. You want to keep She Hulk as long alive as long as possible right now. And she does have bleed, which is very, very unfortunate. 
The other thing is, too, uh, right now Curtis has not used special delivery, and I don't see another character that's going to help her use it. I mean, the only person that can special delivery her right now is Angela. So... So they're weighing out everything right now. They're looking at all the cards. And Heroes for Hire is played. So it looks like She-Hulk went into Hulk. And here comes the Heroes for Hire. Oh, here it comes. And I believe... Let's see. Does Heroes for Hire throw size 3 or less? I can't look at the card right now. Let me know in the chat. <laughs> does Heroes for Hire throw size 3 or less? I think it does. Well, I think it's size 2 or less. Hmm. <clears throat> So this is going to be an attack into Luke. And Luke's going to tank this, right? I mean, the, the, the chances of Luke getting one shot at here are low. And right now, so we got five, five hits coming in, though. It's nothing to sniff at. But right now, Luke is casually blocking three. So blocking three because of minus one damage. So taking two. And Zemo, I think he, yeah, he rolled in a crit or something. Okay, cool. So that's just gonna be two damage going into Lucas here. And that's gonna be a throw if she can throw if he can throw size three or less. So the slow goes on to Luke. Yep, there's a throw. It is size three or less, because She Hulk is size three. Oof. You hate to see that. I'm surprised she's size three, by the way. <laughs> What's up, holy Mackinac? How you doing? Yeah, go Vince. He's doing pretty well right now. Um, he's got a dangerous Hulk. She Hulk is at half health left. Um, Curtis, what Curtis wanted there was, was what, what I was talking about. He wanted to put the stagger on the Hulk and then possibly chuck him backwards. Um, so she's going to take another point of damage here because of the throw and the terrain feature gets destroyed here and she can hit, now she can do leadership and it goes to black cat. So black cat now has four power and has a steel online. Um, there is an option for Black Cat to move and stagger Hulk, but I think I think Curtis is set on stealing Strooker's, uh stealing somebody's uh, token, right? Nice, man. Good for Vince. So me and him have won local tournaments lately. That's really cool. Man. That's really cool, man. I like it. I won. I won a local tournament last week, man. That's good for Vince, man. Good for him. He's a good dude, man. Uh, right now he is bleeding. Curtis is bleeding, so he's, he is going to take another point damage, which puts She Hulk down to eight health left. I don't know if you move up, and I really don't know if you move up here and um, do something. You might want to debate getting rid of the bleed here, but I mean, it's just one more point of damage, right? So it's going to leave She Hulk with nine left. Ooh, he's going to risk it. Yeah, he's going to get rid of this building, I think. I think that's the goal. It's either get rid of the building or throw Hulk backwards. Granted, Hulk is just going to gamble leap forward and still do his nonsense. But at least he spends the power for the gamble leap, right? Doesn't turn a throw offline, though. Okay, so we're getting within two here of Medusa. I'm wondering why. For the bodyguard? No. Royal Decree. Ooh, looking to chuck the building at Zemo here. Okay. Maybe one-shotting a Zemo. I mean, size four buildings within the Sifa. At least the size four building is gone, right? That's what's important. Blocks two. Ooh, so it takes three damage. So Zemo's left on two. So I think what he's positioning here is a Royal Decree off of Medusa into She-Hulk. And so, she, so Medusa can move forward and possibly finish off Zemo. And maybe do some attacks into Luke as well. Um, but he needs to be careful for the bodyguard. Because Luke does have Intimidate online right now. So I think he needs to think about this situation a little bit. Maybe. Mm, this is going to be tough. Um, all right. So right now Vince is trying to see if he has range 4 on She-Hulk. Does not. Looks like it's out. I don't think. Uh, Red Skull has a range 3 on She-Hulk right now, which is good. Because right now, Red Skull can probably go up and one-shot. Not one-shot, but do a couple points of damage to... Possibly day She-Hulk if he had two actions to do so right now. But he does not. So, that's awesome, man. It's good to hear, man. Hey, welcome to the stream, by the way, man. If this is your first time being here, man, welcome. Uh, if you want, man, give me a follow down below. 
Um, you know, I'll be streaming a lot more often with MCP. You know, I'm trying to do different things with it. This is uh, the fight night that I've been uh, talking about for a little bit. And uh, this is basically just random people just uh, calling all people and having random matches. And I'm doing I'm do this for about 10 weeks. And uh, it's going to be King of the Hill style. So the person that wins is going to stay on and keep going. And whoever's the last man standing at the end is the winner. And uh, this is, I think this is a good way to, you know, stream MCP as much as possible and uh, get some quality matches out there. And um, also a way for people to learn from these matches as well. You know, if you're new, if you're new to the game, all that. So thank you, though. Thank you for being in the stream, man. All right, so now we're weighing on our decisions here. Um, it's on to Vince. So Vince has to either commit to what he wanted to do before, which is possibly kill Angela, or go into She-Hulk now and try to get rid of the leadership. We'll find out what he does here. Right now we see dice being rolled. Looks like it's five. If it's five dice, maybe it's Luke Cage attacking She-Hulk, possibly. So it's going to be two to crits coming in and blocking one so far. Just one damage going in. And if I did this correctly. So I think this is Luke. Yep. Luke going into She-Hulk here. So he's looking to do the spender. And now a power is going to go. We'll do Black Cat almost has two steals online. This is crazy. This is crazy town right now. Dude, the, the amount of power you can pass out from uh, She-Hulk's leadership is insane. It's just insane. It's absolutely insane. Look how much power Black Cat has right now. You know, from taking all this damage, right? Taking all this punishment. Ooh, just two hits. Blocking one, just one damage coming through. And I believe that was the spender. I think on a wild is a throw. So he is going to be able to throw She-Hulk here. Um... I don't think it's going to mean anything because what's going to happen here is the throw is going to happen first, and then she's immediately she's immediately going to aggressive forward possibly. Um, oh, looks like he's throwing it towards Medusa to. Yep, I like it. I don't know if you're aggressive here for your Curtis though. I know I mentioned the aggressive. I'm just mentioning the possibility that could happen. I don't know if you're aggressive here. I think you like She Hulk right there. Get her farther away from Hulk as possible. And there's the brace for impact. Brace was played. Solid. It keeps Medusa alive. Medusa does have Royal Decree online at this point in time. And but that ruins uh, I'm surprised if, if he really wanted to commit to the Royal Decree play, I'm surprised he didn't take the aggressive, but I don't think he should take the aggressive because of where She Hulk was, right? You want to keep She Hulk as safe as possible and and force Vince into committing into She Hulk doing other things with Hulk, right? So um, I think that's a good play by Curtis, but not taking the aggressive. Just stay there. Like, that's fine. And, okay, so it looks like Red Skull is out of three of um, Angela, which is inter which is really good. So Red Skull can't just go and double tap her, right? So it's really good. Really good placement there. For, uh, well, really fortunate because i think the intention there was for vince to be within three so here comes black cat yeah here comes the stagger like i thought um into hulk here this is going to be really good really smart play from curtis um that's what you have to do you need to slow it on hulk you need to keep she hulk alive, alive at least one more turn here uh you don't want to lose the leadership turn too that, that's ugh rough granted all that power is gonna be handed out but then you got a rampaging hulk going around just doing crazy stuff so i think he's i think he sees that it's available but maybe debating just stealing an objective from strucker here is that is that's another option too you can go and steal an objective here as well or is there a world where he... And now this could happen. I've seen this happen. Uh, I think... Uh, no, you can't do that. No, 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 never mind. There is a world where Black Cat can move, spender, roll the wild, move small, steal. But then that takes off... That takes away... That's two actions to do that, right? So 
you can't move again with the extract, right? Because what you want to do there with that play is you want to go move stack. You want to do the do the spender, right? Do the spender, move, and then get within one steal, then long move out. That's what you really. That's that's the optimal play there, right? Um, and possibly grappling hook if you have another two power. Um, so that's the optimal move you want to do with Black Cat. Right now, what he, what he doesn't want to do is move, spender, get the wild, and then go steal. Because then he stays right in front of Strucker, and then that's not ideal either. You don't want to lose Black Cat either. So right now, Curtis is in a bind, right? I mean, She-Hulk is in trouble. Uh, Zemo did a lot of damage to her. Luke did okay. So now he's debating, does he want to go with Angela here? Um, what he can do is he can go and kill the Hydra Troopers, pull off Angelic Assassin. Hopefully, pull off Angelic Assassin. And from there, he can go and get in a free he can go and get a free attack on someone else and maybe daze them. That's what I would think to do. Because what he could do here, he has a line where he can move, attack the troopers, right? KO the troopers, move small over here, attack Stricker for free. Granted, that's all the power. But what that does open up to as well is, is a terrain throw over here of a size two to possibly daze Strucker if dice go well. And that would be that could be really good for Angela as well. So right now he's decided not to do that. And what he's deciding to do is just do a base attack into Strucker and hope for the best here. But that's what I would do here. I mean, I would just get rid of the Hydra Troopers, right? I mean, that's, that's for, for any character that has the, uh, uh, hey, if I KO or daze you, I can whatever, um, I can get a free, move and get a free attack. Like, I take advantage of that all day. Ooh, that's a lot of damage into Strucker. Did I miss an attack here? Was there a terrain feature? Oh, it was a terrain feature that was thrown into Strucker, wasn't there, and I missed it. <laughs> I think that's a dead Strucker. Yeah, I think they threw a terrain feature first, and now this is an attack and a Strucker. And here comes the reroll. The reroll needs to work. Oh, it gets the block! Oh, that keeps that keeps Strucker alive on one. The MCP special. I'm sorry, I missed the throw here from Angela. But that does put Strucker on one health left. But that's the MCP special, man. Leaving characters on one breaks everybody's hearts. <laughs> it's so back breaking when you leave a character on one like that, man. It's, it's just it, it's the MCP special is what I call it, right? Doing all your attacks, doing all this work to get there, and then you just leave the character on one. It just feels so bad. It feels so dirty, right? All right, so here goes uh, Curtis. Curtis is going to place within two. Um... Yeah, see, I would have just came up here, burned some dice on the troopers, killed them, right? Killed them, moved small over here, did the same thing. Uh, do an attack at the Strucker, then, then throw, right? Then I would have thrown something into Strucker. That's just me. I think if he did it in that order, I think Strucker dies here, and eh, maybe it's the same thing. Who knows? All right, so that's Angela done. So Angela is out of the danger zone of high, with Red Skull, which is good. Um, he does have a steal online. Uh, Stroker can also get dazed and lose his point here. And I could put the game in favor of Curtis even further with the points and everything. So Yeah, so it looks like we're going Stroker into Angela. And remember, Stroker cannot reroll into Angela because Angela cannot you cannot reroll dice onto her. And I believe this is the spender. Uh, ooh, four hits with a crit. I mean, dude, Vince has diced the past two weeks. Just absolutely on fire. That is five damage, and that's a dead Angela. That's four damage. That is going to be a dead Angela. And that's going to be two cubes. But here's the issue. He can't pick up both. He can only pick up one. I don't know if you just placed them out in Oblivion out here somewhere, and you just force him to get it. Oh, and he heals all the damage. Oh, that spender's dirty. That's right. 
for each damage dealt. That is so sick. So all that work to do all that damage, and Strucker just heals it back. What a savage. What an absolute savage. So he's going to pick up a cube here. Don't know where he's going to place the other one. This other one is, I think, placed improperly. I don't know why this is up way out to here. I think uh, Vince is just measuring stuff out. Yeah, just place it even further away. Place it further away so no one can grab it. Granted, Black Cat can, but Black Cat has to commit all the way down here. Um, I would be careful of the grappling hook, though. She can move grappling hook. Do things. Right now, this is looking pretty good for Vince right now. I think. Interesting. That, I mean, that's exactly where I would place that token too, by the way. Really good play there. All right, so he's got some. So Curtis has some decisions to make, right? So there is a steal online. Just to let you know, I think. Oh no, so yep. So you use the next action to move backwards, which is the smart play, right? Granted, I still think Black Cat gets here with one move and a steal. I could be wrong. Yeah, one move and a steal, and then move again to pick up that other fragment, which gives Curtis the two points back. Um. Which still gives him the cube lead, right? Until She-Hulk dies, but we'll see. So right now it's Curtis's activation. And right now you got Medusa. You got all kinds of things going on here. I'm going to let my dogs out. I'll be right back. Stricker is pretty good, right? I think Stricker is just okay. I'm not. I, I haven't been too impressed. I mean, I think that Spender is really cool, um, but I mean, it, it, like if Stricker got days there, it'd be a different story, right? Um, I mean, Red Skull Two is better. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to be under Red Skull Two Shadow. Red Skull Two is just better. Um, the leadership is better too. Um, but Stricker has some unique things with healing factor and all that stuff. Sorry, I missed who's attacking who right now. Uh, oh, three blocks for Vince. And I think this is Medusa, right? Because I think he royal decreed, it looks like. And this is going into probably... <laughs> this is going into Lucas here. Carl Lucas. Uh, Luke Cage. So it's gonna be one damage to Luke. Ugh. He he tanks every. He does everything so well. Like Luke Cage does everything so well. Like he's he, he's a tank. He's got heroes for hire. <laughs> His spender sometimes does some nutty things. Like he's such a good character, man. I I love Luke Cage. He's such an amazing character. He's so good, right? <laughs> All right, so here we go. We got five dice going back into Luke here. Just two hits. Ooh, these are not the rules you want to see if you're a Medusa right now. Uh, blocking three. Uh, okay, so yeah, no, no damage coming in. Um, so right now, no damage. And... Yeah, I think he's just going to chuck uh, Luke Cage back and possibly in a Zemo, possibly KOing him. If L Luke Cage hits... Ooh, that's so... I don't think he makes it. 
I just don't think he banks it. There's, they're doing, I don't know what's going on with the power here. Oh, it looks like he's going to throw Zemo. Yes, there you go. Okay, so all the power throwing Zemo away from the point, which take, which is minus one point here, which is good. I like it. Uh, yeah, just do, do a chip damage here. Do the one. Just get him off the point. Do one damage. Why not? Boom. Done. So that leaves Zemo at one. And, get, and importantly, gets him off the point. So it's minus one point to Vince here. Um... So right now, Curtis is thinking, okay, listen, things aren't going my way attrition-wise, I don't think. So I'm a little bit in trouble here, and I think I need to keep the points in my favor. So he it, my, taking that point away from somebody is really good. And it, that, that puts him one point away from death. So, And importantly enough, that takes away the leadership from Red Skull as well. So from getting the extra power, I mean, right? That's really good. All right, so it looks like uh, Vince is committing to the Hulkster here. Here come the 24-inch Pythons. Hulkamania, brother. Coming to a town near you. Probably going to Gamma Leap, throw a building into She-Hulk, and finish her off. So here's the thing. If Hulk does not daze She-Hulk here with one attack, which he should, probably, um... He loses the sleeper agent. So keep in mind that's a possibility. So right now he's thinking of Gamma Leaping, throwing the size 3 building, right? Because this is size 3, even though I think this should be a size 4, but whatever, it's size 3, into She-Hulk, right? If She-Hulk rolls well here, and it's going to come down to a die roll now, right? And this is just straight dice into She-Hulk. Hulk with dice are funny sometimes. Like, Hulk with dice... He's hit or miss, honestly. And this is all the power being spent to do this, right? So, and this is the efficient way to do this. You gamma leap forward. You throw the building into Shield. This is the way to do it. If you're going to do this, this is how you do it. Throw the building first. You can't brace. Granted, brace for impact's already been played. But you can't use brace because of sleeper agent, right? So, throw that building into She-Hulk. Yep, size two. Throw the building into She-Hulk. Hope this does a decent amount of damage. And then finish him off. Finish off She-Hulk with, with a strike. That's the that's the plan here, right? And that's best case scenario because that's four damage coming in. Now She-Hulk has two hit points left. Hulk should be able to punch her and do two damage and daze her here. I say this and maybe he doesn't. <laughs> so let's see what happens. So this is going to be straight dice. Just three. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. So that's gonna be two damage, and that's a gone. That that this leadership is gone now, and that you hate to see. And this is the problem with with a force, right? You daze She Hulk, and you have no leadership anymore. It's it's one of the worst feelings in the game. And leadership goes out to Black Cat. Granted, right now Vince is in cruise control. He does. Curtis can still do something with points here with Black Cat. Black Cat has not gone yet. Black Hat can still steal some objectives and do what he needs to do. Um, but this is... Uh, oh, we're doing an attack at Medusa. I would have just not attacked here. He, he's he's going to lose the card. If he doesn't kill Medusa, he loses Sleeper Agent. Okay, that's blocking two. So that's going to be six. So it's four damage coming in right now. That is four damage coming in with a push. That's Sleeper Agent gone, though. Because he did not daze Medusa. I mean, that leaves Medusa, puts Medusa on two health left. And Hulk gains some power. Which I don't think Vince cares at this point. But I think that's... Uh, Sleeper Agent is gone. So I'm going to put a reminder out there. Hopefully they see that. I don't know if they do. (laughs) 
Right. Correct. Agreed. Okay, they saw what I said. Yeah, that because she did not daze, so now sleeper agent is gone. Granted, like I said, I don't think Vince cares much at this point because the goal is to get rid of She-Hulk when you're playing A-Force. That's the goal. That's it. Now, what Vince can do here, I would just two moves, move to that back ambush point here, and I'd probably move Red Skull up here and harass this point. Right now, what he, what Curtis needs to do, Curtis needs to go and start stealing objectives. Um, he has six. She has Curtis has six power, so she has the option to grappling move, grappling hook, move grappling hook. Oh, wait, what's going on here? What? Why is the troopers moving? Oh, okay. He just burned an activation here. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Burn activation and activated Akoya. Okay, so now we're going to move again. Get onto the token here. If he's thinking about blocking, it's not going to happen. Um, Black Cat's just going to grappling hook over here. Maybe he's thinking about trying to stop a path, but I don't think... He could move, move, and grab that token back here. If he wants... Okay. I mean, the steel is still there, right? So, what could happen here is... Let me look at this. So, Black Hat can move, grappling hook, steel, move, grab this one, right? Further back. And that will put... Let's see, that, that will end up giving... That will give him two cubes. I think he abandoned that plan. Huh. Going to the middle here? Oh, go and stagger Hulk. Yeah, I... Okay, go stagger Hulk. Walk to the middle. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Go stagger Hulk. Move to the middle. And hope for the best. Ooh. I love how this always rolls well, but it always only does one damage. Isn't that annoying? Uh, so Stagger gets the wild, going to Elusive. Probably towards this direction over here. Get, say, the furthest away from Hulk in the action as possible. Oh, towards, Ooh, towards and get the steal. Okay. Towards and get the steal. Okay, gonna steal one away from Hulk. Not bad. That's only gonna net him two points this round, though. Right? Because one cube. Well, she already moved. That's, she already did two actions. She moved and then. That's two actions, correct? You didn't grappling hook. I think they're talking about it now. I think she... Yeah, he moved and then... Yeah. He, see, I would I would have just moved to the middle point. So he had two options here. He could have stolen this one, grabbed that, scored three points. That was an option. Um, so it's going to be two and... He has two cubes and two ambush, so four. So eight to seven. Still a close game. Um, unfortunately with struggle for the cube, this is where the game kind of turns. <laughs> the, the, when, it's, when it's struggle for the cube, the game usually lasts about three rounds, three to four rounds. Sometimes five to six, depending on the secure and how fast it scores or the quality of, uh, you know, play that, that's going on between both the players and all that stuff. So a lot can happen here. So let's look at the situation. So Hulk has one cube. Strucker has two. So three points are there, right? Uh, Hulk is currently staggered. Um, which is good, actually, because then Hulk only gets one action into Black Cat. And what can end up happening here is... I, I think Vince just chucks Black Cat to Oblivion. Just, just throws her. 
I don't think you attack her at all. I think you just throw her further away. And um, you just don't give her a power. And you just do your thing. All right, so we got dice being rolled here. So Angela's down here too. This is pretty dangerous down here as well. So four dice. It looks like this is the Hydra, troop, Hydra Troopers into... What in the world is going on with Vince's dice? Three crits? Oh my god. Four damage? So right now, taking three... That's Angela taking three from the Troopers. Are you kidding me? Okay, four dice again. Let's see. I mean, Vince with his die rolls have been amazing. What did you say? <laughs> I think Angela's not long for this world, to be honest with you. And why is she moving small? Oh, was it, is it stalwart determination? Did I miss something there? Why is she moving small? Oh, man, I got to look up Stalwart Determination. What does Stalwart do? <laughs> what does Stalwart do? Man, my knowledge of uh, A-Force is very, very limited because I don't play them often. Let's look up Stalwart Determination. So how... Oh, Fallback, 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 Fallback was played. My bad, not Stalwart. Fallback was played. Yep, it was Fallback. My bad. God, fallback is... Dude, let me tell you, like... Dude, that card was the talk of the week in a second win, dude. Fallback is such an amazing card. So it was fallback. Good play there by Curtis. Fallback is so clutch, dude. It's such a good card. All right, so we're doing Red Skull and basically going to count blanks into Angela here. Hopefully these dice cool off. That's going to be five hits. Uh, crit coming in. Needs a block. Gets it. Blocks two. Takes three. That leaves Angela on one. Like I said, the MCP special. <laughs> that is the MCP special. It's one of the worst feelings on the planet. Leaving an opponent on one. And that's going to be Red Skull done. So that leaves Angela alive. Okay, so you have to activate Angela here, right? Angela needs to daze Strooker in the worst way possible. Right? And the reason why I say that is nobody can get to her outside of Zemo here. Okay? But there is a world where Angela can pick up this token. And I'm surprised Vince didn't play Eyes on the Prize here to pick up this objective. So, all right. So, let's look at the situation that we got here. Angela cannot be left to die. There's possibly... Right now, let's just look at the math here. There's one, two, there's three points here. There's three points right here, right now. Three total. Four. So there's five points on this side alone. So that'll put Curtis up to five. They're putting him to 12. I mean, put him to 12, right? So what he needs to happen here is he needs to kill Strooker. He has all the power. It, it This isn't, you know, what he can do is attack, pick up the cube, attack Red Skull. Oh, okay. Oh, it's going with okay, going with Black Cat for the steal. I think he's letting Angela die. So I think there was an attack on the Hulk because I don't think she had the power for it yet. And he's gonna move to here. Or maybe Black Cat did have the power. I thought Black Cat was at two power, but Oh, I was wrong. So Black Cat did have the power for the other steal. Solid. Okay. So let's see if she can kill uh, Zemo here. No damage. That was a gamble. Yeah, it's no damage. But she does have two cubes. Um, you can't reroll dice into Black Cat. So this isn't a bad situation over here right now. I think it's Strooker. I think you go and you finish off Angela, honestly. Or you get the hell away. Ooh, that fallback was clutch. That fallback was so clutch. Oh, no, I I mean I I love both cards. 
but fallback is just like it's your character you play it you advance it's not even a push you advance right like it's such a good card like i love both but me i prefer uh i do prefer um fallback over escort but that's just a preference all right so rolling dice Oh, it looks like the dice have cooled a bit for Vince. He cannot re-roll as well. Keep that in mind. This is Angela. Blocking one. Needs the crit. Doesn't get it. That uh, Angela lives on one. So the gamble paid off, guys. No, wait. What are you doing? That's one. Oh, he must have he must have done the stupid uh oh the failure thing with Strucker. <laughs> I'm thinking he did one damage here, but because he did the failure thing with Strucker, it did one damage and killed her. So that leaves Strucker now with three cubes. This is interesting. Hulk is still staggered, by the way. Let's take a look at the points now. So right now, three, four... Five. So five to Vince. Right now, three. So he has two cubes, two. So that's four points here. This is still close. I think he's doing an attack here in a Zemo. I think Zemo's going to live. Four. Here comes... Reroll? I think, yeah, that's a KO to, uh, yeah. He's fishing for the Flurry here, I believe. All right. So that is a dead Zemo. So at least he has this point over here. He needs to be able to, he needs to kill the Hydra Troopers, I think, with with, with a Koi here. Um, yep, and he's going to throw, yep, throw Luke Cage. Absolutely. Throw him away. Yep. No, 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 no. Throw him away. Throw him away. Other direction. Other direction. Yes, 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 yes. Throw him away. Do not put Luke anywhere near over here. Or maybe you don't care. But but I would, I mean, if I'm Vince, I just park Luke on the middle point and just collect my points here and be happy with it. All right, there you go. That's Medusa done. And now it's up to Hulk and Luke Cage. Bright side here is Curtis does have um, arrogance. That's what it's called, arrogance, right? The arrogance is what gives him the 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 failure as a success or whatever the hell. So it looks like maybe just thinking about striking Black Cat here. I think if he strikes Black Cat, kills her, takes two cubes, does that end the game? I think it damn near does it. But I think you need to you need to put Luke on a point to cap it. But he needs to be so what he needs here. He needs to daze Black Cat, take both cubes, and then chuck. You need to be able to chuck Medusa off a point, right? That's what needs to happen right now. So that's Black... Wow, that's a Koye done. I was thinking maybe go up with a Koye and take a shot and killing the troopers there. But... It's a gamble. See, but I would have gone Angela down here, right? I think that would have been my play, personally. Because Hulk had a stagger on him. And I think I would have taken a chance here to kill Strucker and taken all those points, right? Granted, that's a dead Angela, but I would rather Angela die with all those points first and put me closer to victory than what Black Cat did. That's just my opinion, though. And the other thing is, too, Vince is rolling really except He's rolling exceptionally well. So he's got two things going for him. He's playing really well, and his dice have been very responsive to him. So I don't know if the Gamma Leap will get everything he wants here. He will be able to strike Black Cat. He's trying to position it to a point where he can strike Black Cat and then chuck Medusa off the point. That's all he wants to do. I think if he does that, I think he wins the game here. 
I think. Um, that gives him that will give him all five cubes. And no, it doesn't. I think he's a point away. If I do the math here. So it's three, two, so it's five, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, it's only 15 points. So I think they did the measurements here. I think Hulk is possibly within two of Medusa there. So this is going to be dice into Black Cat, I think. There's no way this is going into Medusa. So it doesn't make sense. Ooh, and there goes Hulk dice. <laughs> there goes Hulk dice for you. The dice have finally come back to Vince a little bit here. And I think he's out of two. No, into Medusa. Okay, so it's going to chuck Medusa away probably. But I don't think it... I, maybe you don't do that here. I don't think it benefits you. And Black Cat has cover too because of the thing. So I don't know if it benefits you. to. And it's not... I, yeah, I can't throw anything at her either. I don't think you take the throw here. I think you just... He's going to score the point regardless. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing you do here. Um, and Vince is in a really good spot. He has the majority of the models. And he has the majority of the points. So... So it's going to be 11 to 13. Strucker, funny enough, is closer to death. <laughs> because of uh, the cubes that he's going to take here. So this is going to be at one damage left. See, I would have positioned Okoye a little closer. Because what he could have, have happened here, what he could have happened here, is Okoye move and then throw a spear at Strucker. Dropping all three cubes and then separating them and putting them out there. Um, this is tough. This is a tough spot. Oh, oh, I moved a little bit. Sorry. So we're going to round four for struggle for the cube. This is the game's gonna be decided here. So the key is to somehow get these three cubes off of Strucker. See, if he would have placed within one here and then moved, he would have been within four of Strucker, threw a javelin, and then like separated all three cubes in a weird spot. Granted, Red Skull still has eyes on the prize, so Red Skull probably picks all them up and the game's over anyway. Yeah, he needs a lot to happen here. Maybe they're talking things out. I don't know. I hope they play it out, though. Because that, that, Losing She-Hulk, I think, was the key in this game. But that's what that's any She-Hulk player. The minute they, Any A-Force player. Any, the minute they lose She-Hulk, it's like, damn, dude. It's just tough sledding from there, you know? It's unfortunate. But either way, this has been a good game to watch, right? This has been really good. We've, I think we're learning a lot from this. I think we're learning a lot from Hydra, what they could do, the capability of a sleeper agent, all that stuff, and what Hulk can do with this leadership, with this, with this affiliation. So we got some dice being rolled. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh, well, that puts Stagger on Hulk. You did get the elusive. Oh, this is just uh, this the spender. Okay, move backwards. And he says, I'm taking my points and being happy with it. You leave me alone. You can go ahead and take the victory, but you're not going to have these cubes. And you're not going to beat me in a landslide. <laughs> That's basically Curtis's, uh, Curtis's response right now. Curtis is like, you can have the victory. But I'm not. you're not going to beat me by X amount of points. <laughs> I'm going to take my points. I'm going to make this look as close as possible, right? Um. So I think, honest. let's see, let's see. What does Strucker do? Now, if we're thinking of an optimal play here, Strucker just moves to the corner of the board, and that's and that's game, right? But Vince is probably thinking to himself, you know, I'm on a live stream. This is going to be on YouTube. Do I really want to do that, right? Do I want, Or do I want to put on a show for the fans, right? What you don't want to do is move Strucker up so Akoya can attack him twice. So, but 
I'm pretty sure he's thinking move whatever down here. I think, yeah, he's going in here. He's going to gamble leap. He's going to finish off uh, Medusa here, hopefully. Is the plan. There's nothing he can do about... There's nothing uh, Curtis can do about Hulk here at all either, which is unfortunate. So this is going to be a strike into Medusa. So no blocks. And she's dead. And she only has... Right now, Curtis only has one activation left. I think he just parks there with the Koi, and I think they call it here. Honestly. Let's see. Let's see if they continue here. I mean, that's Hulk done. Hulk doesn't need to do anything else. He can just pass, pass, pass. I mean, Vince is just going to stay on points. Right? Like, that's that's pretty much game here. But with that being said, uh, I'm going to talk with these... Once the, once the repositioning everything's done here... They'll tally up the points, and then um, I'll go in and talk to both players and, uh, you know, talk through the match and all that stuff and see what they think. So, guys, stick around. If you guys have any questions on the match, let me know. Uh, put them in the stream chat for me, and I'll ask Vince, and I'll ask Curtis. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'll talk with them for a bit and, uh, you know, see what's going on here and also are you guys enjoying the stream is the stream okay do you guys has everything been all right for you guys tonight uh, if there's anything i can improve on or anything like that let me know um you know if, if nothing was working right tell me definitely let me know because i'm always looking to improve the stream quality and all that stuff so um hit me up you know um if you're new to the stream as well follow you know yeah see that's so yeah i mean vince is basically just going to move twice here and uh, cap the points here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for this to be done, and I'm gonna jump in and uh, talk to the guys here. And uh, yeah, that'll that'll do it. Yep. And that's game. Yep. Just move and kill the kill the agents. Kill the agents. <laughs> Take away a point. Oh, I'll get a second commentator. I was just driving everything tonight. I didn't I didn't bother to ask anybody. And nothing. And the agents just live. And that'll do it. All right. So I'm going to jump in there. See, well, let's see. Oh, God. I can't type. All right, let's go talk to the, let's go talk to both these guys here. See what's up. See what's going on. Hey, so, uh, what's up, guys? Hey, Chewy. <laughs> hey, doing, what's up? I'm doing good, man. Dude, I gotta say, Vince, man, your dice continue. They've been doing oh, pretty the well. Dice were good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, really good game. Um. So uh, yeah, you guys are talking it through. Like, uh, what are your thoughts on the game? overall well chewy let me let me say first for anybody watching that's a master class on how you play a force right there <laughs> <laughs> awesome okay yeah no problem I was, I was telling vince i was like oh this is great that's probably the worst game i've ever played in my life of mcp but that's all right <laughs> he, uh, he, right he had a great team and a great strategy and uh sleeper agent hulk just Chucking things into uh, into She Hulk is is not very good for me. So no, it's insane. It dude. was a uh, mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun though. Yeah, that card is really really good, man. I that that card caught my eye when I first saw it, and I'm like, that's Mystique's leadership, and I can put that on anybody. I'm like, the, I have a long list of people, but like Hulk is like at the top of people that should have that card, and it's just phenomenal. You can't brace his throws, so it's just like okay, no, <laughs> it's it's insane. Um. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so like, I um, I would say in the beginning, was there a plan to uh, special delivery She Hulk in, or was the plan Angela go in, grab the middle extract, come back? Yeah, normally okay. if normally special delivery is there on turn one to discourage him from sending someone to the middle. Yeah. So if he does put someone in the middle, I can drop She Hulk there uh, mm -hmm. eventually or right away. Um, mm -hmm. And if he doesn't then I can just have Angela go grab it and put her somewhere else. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that was probably my first mistake was pulling She-Hulk away from McCoy and Angela on turn one. But mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in my head, I think I, I saw Zemo come and get that point and, and thought She-Hulk would be 
you know, good to go over there and punch him and throw something at him and take the cue. But it ended up separating She-Hulk from Okoye, who she never wants to be apart from, and, you know, Angela to do some type of delivery play in the next couple of rounds. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, I was super happy to see Okoye go this way after She-Hulk went this way. Yep. Because I knew if I don't activate my Zemo first activation, he just gets KO'd. Mm-hmm. Um, and because Okoye is gone, Zemo got to use all the power that he got from being dazed mm-hmm. and still keep himself safe by r- running away after. Yep. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, for sure. So, like, let's say for example, so let's be let's do devil's advocate here. Let's let, not devil's advocate. Eh, well, whatever. So let's let's say for example, maybe you do the safer play and uh, you just send some miscellaneous person back here to grab the key. You don't go for the middle. So. At that point, Vince, do you do eyes on the prize with Red Skull and then go for the middle point? Or do you do something else? Man, I'm so I barely play on DTS and I feel way worse on DTS. And <laughs> one of the biggest things I struggle with is deployment. Um, <laughs> I'm not even eyeball stuff. And yep. with eyes, you might have noticed I never played it because I misdeployed Skull, right? He should yeah, have been. I was contemplating like, oh, do I go a little bit to the side to dodge this? And I think if I did, I barely make it. Okay. Um, but because I didn't, I looked at that and I'm like, oh, I think I can stand on this from one move. And I was totally wrong. I was really off. Um, okay. And I couldn't. Okay. And that messed me up. Okay. And then later on, I um, misdeployed Hulk a little bit too. Yeah. So that he couldn't throw the thing at Medusa. Okay. And he was just like a hairs out. Um, but oh. small stuff like that I messed up on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Even though, I mean, it still kind of worked out, even though you did. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I was thinking, like, because I think what would have happened here, maybe if, if he does that, you know, play the safe game, grab these two, leave the middle. Maybe you get you go to the middle and then, that, then, then the special delivery comes in, right? But it, it, would that, so Curtis, like, let's say if that happens, right? Let's say he gets the middle, he stays. Then do you special delivery to the middle and then she Hulk comes out? Or, yeah, or, okay. Yeah, probably if Red Skull is is there, Angela yep. can get to the middle in one shot, and She Hulk can do some damage. And then, mm-hmm. you know, usually part of it's doing the damage, and then the other part is just having She Hulk to be able to even duck out to a wing and throw someone off it, or um, maybe go after Strucker there even for uh, right. You know, try to grab his cube there and kind of stay out of all the danger on the left side from Hulk there. Yep. Um, so, you know, I'm used to playing this map and really taking control of the middle, but it just didn't happen this time. And I I spread out when I really shouldn't have, and it just didn't work out very well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, standing Red Hulk, Red Skull in the middle is definitely not an option. He will just die, I think. Oh, he'll just die. Like, even yeah. with the cover, like, the cover's cool and all, but, like, I mean, if you put She-Hulk out here with the special delivery, especially with how far Angela goes... Like she's mm-hmm. gonna get with on, she's gonna get with on one of the ambush. You're not gonna get the cover, and then he, ch- she just goes to town and just kills Red Skull. And once Red Skull dies, like it's it's forget about it from there. You lose the leadership, and it's like oh great. I mean, granted, you still have Hulk, but the the, the leadership's huge. It helps out so much with the power generation. With Hulk, like he does, he like he really isn't. <laughs> he gets more power, and it's just insane. <laughs> it just works so yeah, well sure. for him. Um. But yeah, no, that was yeah, that's that's interesting. I noticed, yeah, was, eyes on the prize wasn't played, and like, uh, you know, yeah, no, this is. I, mean, I gotta say, Vince really solid gameplay though. It was pretty good. Um, so Thanks, yeah, no, no problem. So there was a situation here. So like, there was what turn three, I think. So it was I think Angela was down here, right? I think left on one. If I remember correctly, was that turn four? I don't remember. Yeah, Angela. That was later on, yeah. Yeah, so was there, because I think you, I don't think you activated her, right? After she lived on one? That's right. So was there, so when she was left on one, because I think you went to go steal at that point, right? Yeah, at that, at that point, oh. it was really just a gamble that Strucker would have one attack into Angela, not being able to reroll. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. if she survived it, mm-hmm. um, you know, then she could get out of there and maybe score something or do some damage. Mm-hmm. So really, I just prioritized the other side of the board. Okay. At that point, Vince had such a he had such a strong position. Um, 
that okay. that was kind of a more of a hail mary than anything. I think oh, okay. really the the turn when I I sent Angela up and I was uh, I was hoping that she would get a days on Strucker, you know, kind of do her small move and get to safety. And then when mm-hmm. she uh, when she left him on one, when that attack didn't go through, mm-hmm. uh, she was kind of just stranded there. <laughs> that just, uh, didn't end very well for. Her. <laughs> All right. I, okay. Yeah, that so was game changing. That was really just game changing. No. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that was huge. And the amount of damage you did and recovered all that health was insane. I was like, are you kidding me? So he's back to full <laughs> health again? Like, sure. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, so that, that, that felt bad. Yeah. So on that play, I saw another line for you. If you so yep. if you could have because me, every time I see a minion and I have a character like X twenty three or like Carnage, um, and they can pop their ability. Um I think you had a line where you could have attacked the grunts and yep. did some damage to the grunts, killed them, and then did a Jalic Assassin, and then mm-hmm. moved, got the free attack on Strucker. And then what you could have then did was the throw afterwards. You know, you could see how much damage you did on the next attack. It's probably the same bull crap, but there was there, that was available there. You could have went on an angle, did that, and then positioned within two, and then didn't attack, and then threw something at, at Strucker. Um yeah, my my concern there yeah. was I, if I had done um, Angela's five dice energy there into the grunts with them having two energy dice, three health, and cover, mm-hmm. uh, my concern was that I was going to send that attack into them, and they were going to you know even if they survive on mm-hmm. one, then I'm kind of in an awkward position where wow. um, it just me. I mean, it, oh, it, I was thinking work. no, I, I was thinking moving, but I was gonna I, I was thinking moving attack. And then kill the grunt, and then angelic mm-hmm. assassin, and then you get the attack and the Strucker. Yeah, that's fair. What I, I that's mean, what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, instead yeah, of the yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I think in my head, I wanted, I really just wanted Angela to kind of go up there, kill Strucker, and then and then move out of harm's way. Yeah, um, agreed. She had some cubes too, where she was going to drop them. So I was hoping to yeah kind of drop them in my back right corner there. Yep. And not uh, not in the middle. Yep. No, agreed. Hundred percent. Like I think the play was right. It's just like it, it's the MCP special where you leave someone on one health. It's just like it's yeah, one of the worst feelings. It, no one. <laughs> you just leave characters on one. It's like okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. Like go ahead and do your turn. Um, but yeah, no. Um, I, I think it was. Cl- I think it was played well. I mean, I, I mean, I don't think. Uh, I think in in the later games is where you start to you know the dice decided some things, right? Uh, but I think I think you guys played it well. I think I like Vince what you did in the middle here, uh, with with the uh, with the grunts and uh, Red Skull. Like after She Hulk moved, I think it was after She Hulk moved you got them to the middle, right? Yeah, I got them to the middle. I had sacrifice up on yep. Skull to Hulk, which was okay. And then I also had heroes before I used it. Yep. Um, so I felt Skull was pretty comfortable. Mm-hmm. Uh, and. The play, the plan, and the reason to put them up here was that I knew that once Okoye was separated out here, mm-hmm. um, I knew I would go first with Zemo. Yep. Hopefully, put a good amount onto She Hulk yep. and put pressure onto Curtis to activate them. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. And then I had Skull on this side to threaten um, Okoye and Angela. So Oko- Angela took two cube damage. Okoye was out of cover from the. Uh, Mm-hmm. scoundrel so i was thinking oh maybe i shoot okoye twice with the grunts mm-hmm. kill her and then i can just punch angela um but i didn't end up having to do that line okay i don't know that's that's interesting um the other yeah. thing yeah, yeah go ahead chris i'm sorry go ahead. no no worries the other thing at the beginning of the game too after after zemo had done all that damage um <laughs> you know whenever she hulk starts really taking it like that the play should have been too aggressive towards Hulk as far as I could. And then probably at that point, go with she Hulk, throw Hulk kind of to the, you know, the dice roller side of the board and then just double move to wherever Koye is. Yep. And just completely rotate, try to take some cubes with me and, uh, mm-hmm. it, you know, live to fight another day with Hulk on the wrong side of the board. Um, Definitely. Kind of do you know do something like that because really once she started getting beat up on with no bodyguard it was just she wasn't going to be doing anything and I didn't uh, I didn't recognize that on the turn I needed to. 
Yeah, definitely. And I thought, though, it, oh, so that turn one was crazy. So, like, uh, you got aggressive with, uh, you were just talking about that, with Zemo. <laughs> yeah. With taking that cue back. I got to say, man, that took a lot of cojones. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Vince is here to play. I was like, he doesn't care. Like, here comes Zemo. He's going to take this cube and say, smack me. Come on. <laughs> I, was that I always the plan? I don't know if that was the right play. I yeah. think... It helped Curtis. It helped make Curtis spread out his She Hulk when he shouldn't have. But I, yeah. st- I don't know. If, I still don't know if that's the right play. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it seemed to have worked out because, well, I mean, well, here's here's what happened. And then, well, She Hulk came out right, and then dazed Zemo, right, and then from there, Zemo got a turn and was able to just do a ton of damage to She Hulk, which she didn't want, right? So maybe. You know that I think I think if you don't have Pryo, I don't think you do that because then if She Hulk has Pryo, then She Hulk just finishes him off, right? Like I think since you had Pryo, it was kind of like okay, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna get a turn with Zemo and I can get the hell out of here at least and do some chip damage and get away, right? But I think if you don't have Pryo, I don't think I don't think you do that because then it's like oh I lose a character for nothing, and it's like oh crap. But I, it, dude, it was it was it was like man, like that is some cojones, dude. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. Like that's insane. Yeah. Oh man. Well, guys, I, I gotta say, man, thank you for the game, man. Curtis, thank you for coming on. I wish you can come stay on another week, but it looks like Vince is just gonna keep chugging along. Um. Uh, Curtis, if you have any like Twitter, you know, YouTube channels, whatever you got going on, you go ahead and plug it. Feel free. Um. Yeah, no, nothing to plug, but I will be a, a regular player on uh, Blackfire Productions um, oh. Battle Reports on YouTube. So That's right. I haven't yeah. seen that guy in a long time. Is he doing all right? I haven't seen a, any of his bat reps in a while. Yeah, he's doing good. He's back at it. Uh, nice. Him and I, we realize we live about half an hour away, so we're going to try to make it a regular thing. And nice. um, if you want another video on how not to play She-Hulk, you can tune into that uh, <laughs> match against brotherhood there too okay all sounds my, good all my great games are now alive forever is what not to do with it first. So, what not to do okay all right we'll definitely keep that we'll, we'll keep that in mind um and vince um you're still here man so you get to call out your next opponent who do you want to play next awesome um i think moving on from someone super local like curtis uh we'll go as far as we can, basically, go mm-hmm. to the other side of the world in the UK. Ooh. I'm hoping to play your Danger Room co-host. Oh, no. Jacob. Oh, Jacob. Oh. I'd love to play. I Jacob. hope you're watching. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's awesome. That'd be a great matchup, actually. Oh. That's awesome. So hopefully we can work out the time differences and yeah. find a time that works for the both of us. I know that might be tricky. Yeah, it might be a little bit might be a little tricky. Matt Alex is saying nice. He likes it. I like it, too. I dude, I, I love that. That's awesome. That'll be a great match for next week. And, and and I'll talk and I'll send a message to Jacob too saying that you called him out. And uh we'll get this going. All right, guys, Thanks, that's yeah. it for me. Um you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you again, Vince. Thank you again, Curtis, man. Really good game, man. Uh hope to see you guys play again in the future. Obviously, Vince, you move on the next week. And you're gonna be playing Jacob. And uh That's going to be one hell of a match to watch, man. You guys take care. Have a wonderful, blessed day. I'll see you guys on the next stream. Peace. You too, man. Thanks for hosting. Yeah, no problem, man. You're welcome, guys.